Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here, popping in. Somebody in the last video brought this up and asked me to speak on the young lady that was dismembered, I think on the first date with a gentleman. And I thought I read it, but I just thought it was like a meme. Like I thought it was fake, really. I, I just was like, this can't be real. Like this can't be real. And this is the thing, and this is what I want y'all to understand. The reason why that young lady, and you see how the young lady, I think I seen a picture of her. But you see how that the young man, the man looked. I think his name is Maxwell Anderson. I'm trying to remember it correctly. They are not looks compatible. But the reason why that she was even open to going on a date with him it's not because of like not being racist it's not because of like none of that it's also because of the glorification that a lot of black women are doing of white men a lot of black women are setting other black women up for failure by giving white men a savior complex. You have to remember that you were enslaved by white men. White men also raped you, mutilated you, burnt you, and did the worst things to you. So you can't take and now try to idolize and worship and pedestalize the white man because you have suffered at the hands of a black man. That's not the thing to do. You have to still look at every man as a man. And you cannot glorify a man because of his race. And you have to see this. And this is tragic what has happened to this young lady. But I have to believe that it was a part of it was, oh, this is a white man. And it's so many black women right now thinking about pasta and lobster and wanting a white man for pasta and lobster and a thousand dollars for shopping. And that right there, this is an, an, an egregious, horrific case. But imagine the thousands of black women right now who have fallen in love with a man because of his race. And now their role play is slave and master. Now they being abused and treated like trash, but cannot leave because they have pedestalize the relationship they can leave but they don't want to leave because they don't want to hear i told you so they don't want to hear aha and this is the thing and this is why i try to tell y'all now i don't know if it was the first date so the young lady who asked the question said it was the first date but that's why on my video about how to date correctly i told y'all to talk to a man for 10 hours, a minimum of 10 hours on the phone before going on a date with him. And then go on a minimum of 10 dates before being behind closed doors with him. And listen to me, I know it sounds very drastic, I know it sounds very long. I know it sounds drawn out. It sounds like overkill. Tony, you too old fashioned. Tony, you doing the most. I had a client who met a man online, meeting up with the man and was going to invite the man back to her house. And I say, do not bring this man that you just met to your house. Meet him at a public place. If y'all get a hotel, do not share a room with him. Get your own room. Let him get his own room. And 
This is what I try to tell you. You can never be too careful. That's why the saying says, better safe than sorry. You can never be too careful. Now, me personally, I, I'm praying for this young lady family. We all say what we will do if it happened to us, but then knowing that's not really realistic because I probably would have tried to get me some type of gun that not detectable by a metal detector and get in there and get close enough and, and, and shot the man in the back of the head while I'm sitting in the courtroom. Me, but you probably would have missed and hit somebody else. So it's like when you really think about it, it's like, okay, yeah, that ain't, that ain't, you know, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And, and so imagine, imagine this being our sister, our daughter, our mother, our best friend being dismembered by this man. And it ain't even about race because a black man could have did it too. A Hispanic man, an Asian man, anybody could have did it. But the thing about it is, it's, it's, and, and I, I have a lot of white friends. I got a lot of white friends, but we we close enough to where we could talk real about stuff. And and one thing I want to depedestalize is the white man. The white man is no better than any other man. He is a man. He is capable of anything a black man is capable of. And he may be capable of worse. Cause at the, and, and no offense to every white man who hear this and who see this. Or if you know me personally, if you a man, then you will know that what I'm saying is true. And that a man is a man. And it is time out of having, of worshiping someone because of their race. That is a syndrome. That is a complex when you can take and you want to pedestal out. And the same thing with black men putting white women on a pedestal. A black person, especially in America, but really anywhere in the world, should never put another race on a pedestal and especially the white man. Because we were slaves. And it is absolutely mind-boggling how black men and women can spit in the face of their own people and say a white man or a white woman is better for them to be with. If you happen to meet somebody who is white and you fall in love with them, God bless you. That is amazing. I got friends who have one of my closest friends who I played college football with. He do my security. His wife is white. Another one of my homeboys I grew up with. His wife is white. Another one of my homeboys that I met along the way. His wife is white. I know men that's in my circle that be around me with white wives. So it's not that I'm against it, but what I'm against is idolizing and worshiping and pedestalizing someone because of their race. Because I had a white girlfriend in college and she slept with four of my black teammates while she was with me. So... For the men to be black men who pedestalize white women like a holier than thou can do no wrong, better than all black women. And then the black women who pedestalize a white man, they got a whole movement about divesting. But and, and, and that should never be a thing. The thing should be find who is for you. The thing should be love who you love, regardless of their color, not hate the black man, leave the black man, and go get a man of another race because this is what can happen. You could end up dismembered like this by this man, Maxwell Anderson. And I read in the caption, the man had a sex dungeon. And you know what that come from? That come from porn. How they met, I don't know. 
Hopefully, it was not an online dating app, but that's another thing. If they met on the app, that's another thing I'm telling y'all. Stay off them apps. Stay off them apps. I would venture to say 99% of men on a dating app is addicted to porn. And if a man is addicted to porn, he, he liable to have a sex dungeon like Maxwell Anderson and to be dismembering. And it's a lot of women who done probably been dismembered and ain't never been found. And the killer ain't never been found. But I want you to understand this. I want you to think about in the history, and this is for y'all black women especially, who is hollering about divesting and hollering about get your white man, get your white man, pop the lobster, pop the lobster. This is what I want you to think about. Think about the history of national news in America. How many black male serial killers do you know? How many? You could think of some, but how many do you know? Not do you know. How many do you know of? How many black male serial killers do we have? When you think about the school shootings, how many of them have been black males? For people to be making the black man out to be the scum of the earth and the worst of the worst, just check the record books. Check the history books. If a black man did a school shooting, it will be a part of Black History Month in America. They, We will have Black History Month, but they'll make sure they run that case to remind us this is your race. This what didn't happen. But when you think about Sandy Hook, when you think about Columbine, when you think about uh, what that down there in Florida in Winter Park, when you think about that, what all of that was, white men. You have to realize that a human is a human. A, a, a race is not superior. And this right here is going to continue to happen to more black women if the glorification and the exaltation of men based on their race continues to permeate through social media. This, this is a result of idolizing a race because you've been hurt by your ex. That is absolutely foolish, ridiculous, asinine, and absurd. You need to go to therapy, go to coaching, love yourself, heal, forgive, forget, and move on with your life. Do not go seeking the opposite or just a, a race because you was hurt or because somebody you know was hurt because you will go into something like a deer in headlights thinking this truck that's coming at you 100 miles an hour finna kiss you on the lips and give you a hug and it's finna blow you to smithereens. Pray for this young lady family and learn a lesson so that she does not lose her life in vain. Get a lesson from it and take your time when you meet a man and stop worshiping men and stop being desperate for a man and stop going to a man house that you do not fully know. Take the lesson. Think about this. And I want you to sit down today and I want you to picture Meeting a man that you think is superior, meeting a man that you think is a savior, meeting a man that you think is a dream come true. And I want you to picture him making the move to, to slice your throat. I want you to picture, and it don't matter what color he is, if he black, white, Hispanic, you might need to picture him in all the races you know of and picture him slicing your throat 
and and then picture him bleeding you out and picture him cutting your foot off and cutting your arm off. You need to picture that so that you will learn when you go into this dating world that you take your time and you be diligent and you don't like, don't let this stuff. And I hate talking about this stuff because people have to, her family and friends got to live with this. And I know they don't want to hear about this, but I have a duty because just how that happened to her, had you not heard this, you could be tomorrow. You could be the day. That date that you got tonight with that man you met online that you ain't did your due diligence yet, you need to cancel it. If you ain't talked to him on the phone 10 hours yet, cancel the date. If you finna have him to your house or you getting ready to go to his house and y'all ain't went on 10 dates in public yet, cancel the date. For you come up missing, learn a lesson and stop playing with it. And I try to tell y'all all the time, but y'all be thinking I'm doom and gloom. You doom and gloom. I just don't want to date no more. You got me scared to date. It ain't about being scared. It's about being safe. You ain't got to be scared when you safe. You ain't got to be scared when you take your time and you do things decent and in order like God instructs us to do. You don't have to be scared. And this is the lesson that need to go out around the world and people need to know, and especially women. Stop being desperate for a man. Stop idolizing a man and stop giving a man what he ain't earned. And do not feel comfortable in the presence of a man if you do not know that you know that you know that you know who this man is. And when you, and especially on the first time you go to a man's house, a new wrinkle in this, you need to double date. You need to take a friend. You need to take a friend and she need to bring her man. And if you ain't got no friend with a man, then you need to be on FaceTime or you need to be out in public. You do not need to be behind closed doors with a man that you don't really know. And it don't mean even them 20 hours, a man still may dismember you. After 20 hours, that still ain't foolproof. So you also got to have spiritual discernment because you might talk to this man 10 hours on the phone and he might cover that in two days. That's love bombing. So now you got to stretch it. You got to stretch it. Now it need to be 20 hours. Because it at least should be 10 different days that, that y'all done talk across a span of. If you talk 10 hours in two days, then you need to stretch it because you just got love bomb. If you go on 10 dates in two weeks, you need to stretch it. Then 10 dates need to take two and a half months. So you need to be talking for at least two weeks on the phone every single day. And if it ain't every single day, then you add a week and you add a week. You add a week, and then when you start going on physical dates, them physical dates need to last at least two and a half months. But if in two and a half months you ain't done 10 dates, then you got to stretch it till you get to 10 dates. But the minimum need, so before a man is in your house or before you is in his house, it should be three months should have passed, and you should have had 10 hours of talk time on the phone at the least and you should have had 10 dates, which would most likely equal to 20 to 40 hours. In that amount of time, if you read your Bible a chapter a day, if you pray, if you watch these videos regularly, you will have the discernment to be able to tell what type of joker you dealing with. And when you go to his house or he come to your house, you need to wear something. Because big, them big cargo jeans is in, in style now. You need to wear something where you could have some mace or a little shocker in your pocket. So if he do come try you, you can mace the mess out of him or shot them balls. And you cannot get comfortable today because these men are porn addicts. Most of these men today are porn addicts. A lot of these men, they don't want to believe in God. They don't want to love the Lord. If a man tell you he don't believe in God, if a man tell you he not a Christian and you a Christian, run, run. You need to run. If this man ain't got a fear of the Lord, you need to run. And if he got a fear of the Lord, he going to move accordingly. If he not moving according to the spirit of the Lord, 
that resonate and reside with your spirit, then you need to run. Listen to me. Put this on repeat. You need to listen to this to a minimum of three times. And you need to have undivided attention. You need to take out a notepad. You need to write it down for you be dismembered. Because this right here is real. And this is happening every day. It ain't always going to hit national news. Because it ain't just happening in America. It's happening in countries all over the world. Because of idolization and desperation and a lack of education. And I ain't talking about school books. I'm talking about in the dynamics of men and women. And that's why I do what I do. So get the lesson and save your life. Send it to your friend who is doing online dating and tell her, do not talk to you again until she could tell you what I said at the end of the, throughout the whole video. And you need the quizzle. Okay, what he said right here. What he said right there. Okay, yeah, you got it wrong. Go back and watch the video. And don't call me if you can't watch the video because I don't want no dumb, sorry, illiterate friends who don't want to grow and love themselves because you think you know it all. Don't, don't, don't enable your friends who don't want to learn and grow and heal and learn how to date right if they're going to be out here date right. If you got old loose booty hot pocket friend, you need to turn over to the Lord. And all you need to interact with her is just sending her videos where she can learn. And when she get fed up with these men dogging her out, she going to shut up, sit down, and listen. Because, listen, people losing their life. And that's why people be like, oh, why you do about this? Why you do about this? Because I used to be a dog. I used to be a womanizer. I used to be one of the men that things could have went left and a woman could have lost her life. I know what it's like. I know how real this is. It, it's a woman being beat every nine seconds. It's a woman losing her life at the hands of a man every day. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee and learn how to love yourself. Learn how to date. Learn about men. Learn what a real man is. Learn what a real relationship is. Learn what real love is. Pump your brakes. Stop clocking your body clock. Stop being desperate. Stop worrying. Get in your brain. Get in your body Get in your brain and take them three B's and learn how to love you. And watch what God do. Hey, this Tony Gasson, I got to go. Cause I'm getting fired up. I'm getting fired up. That give me a righteous indignation when we out here losing, people losing their life over, and it's supposed to be love. This is the greatest gift God has given to mankind and people seeking love and losing their life. Why? Because... It's a bunch of women that, hey, stop listening to them relationship coaches. And a bunch of men, oh, y'all yeah, listen to them relationship coaches. And, and don't want to learn, don't want to grow, don't want to have a, a understanding and a discussion, a dialogue between the sexes. And then look what happened. And guess what? It's happening every day. It might not be to that extent, but it's happening every day. We we now I done seen a lot of black men online who done killed a woman, who done took her life. She cheated on him, or he caught her with another man, or something like that. And he took her life. Some of them take the the kids. Like one man took his own life and his kids' life. That was a black man. So this ain't just I ain't, I'm not trying to alienate or demonize white men because it's black men too. But what I am saying, do is stop pedestalizing another race, thinking that just because he of another race, you finna be safe. You got to address a man like a man, and you got to get a note, get to know the man for who he is. It's totally gas. God bless you. We'll talk soon.